Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. But today we're talking about the full moon and specifically the full moon in Aries, which peaked on October 9th, 2022. In this reading video, I want to dive into the energies surrounding this full moon in combination with the 1010 portal happening today as of when I'm releasing this video on October 10th, although I do also want to mention all of the readings I create and the videos I post are technically timeless because I don't believe in coincidences or accidents. If you found this video, I do believe that it is for a reason. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and begin shuffling the energy oracle cards deck and the first card we have to come out here is journey in the reverse position. I'm hearing something about someone's home, so at this time, you might be inspired to clean or declutter your home, especially with it being a full moon. And these full moon times tend to motivate us subconsciously to these kinds of actions that will clarify our mind, our energy by clarifying our space, by getting us organized. So pay attention to how you may be subconsciously motivated to certain things at this time because those subconscious motivations, that feeling to do something that seems to strike out of nowhere can very often be how the conscious mind is interpreting what your soul is whispering to you, what your intuition is speaking to you at a deeper core level. Interestingly, I pulled a card from the Moonology deck and we have a new start is coming. And this is actually a new moon card. So I want to channel a bit more into specifically what this full moon means for twin flames, for those of us who are on some type of twin flame path, because I know that many of you listening do connect with the concept of twin flames or divine counterparts. You may resonate with being either the divine masculine or divine feminine. So I want to know what kind of new start is coming. And I do have to tell you, I'm laughing because of course the yin yang reversed card came out, which I had just set the intention to channel for twin flames and out comes one of the top two twin flame cards from this deck. The fact this card is reversed in connection with the journey in the reverse position, and I'm getting this just like aching sense of longing, this longing feeling. What this is telling me is that someone is really longing to settle down, longing to, I wanted to say longing to come back or to come home, but that home is with you and within this connection. And I'm getting a lot of masculine energy from this. So if you are a divine feminine and you are experiencing what we call a separation, although of course between twin flames, there is never a true separation. There is only the illusion of separateness, which is really a huge paradigm that we've come here to evolve beyond, to transcend the very concepts of separateness because we are all interconnected. We are all connected in the one mind. But what I see is there is a masculine coming through here who is very much in his feelings around the time of the full moon going within himself, but specifically going into his heart space, into his heart chakra and realizing with woman holding a heart upright that whenever I am in my feelings, whenever I am truly living through my heart, I think of you, divine feminine. That's what I feel this masculine saying. I'm getting something about a bracelet for someone. I also heard the name John earlier, which I feel for some could actually be a spirit guide or a passed on male relative. 
that may have been named John, a grandfather, a great-grandfather. But do keep in mind, whenever I channel specific words, names, or details, these are meant for specific individuals, so they won't necessarily resonate with everyone, and that is perfectly okay. Always, always use your intuition as your highest guide through these readings. Also, if you would like to allow me to pick up on your energy more easily, be sure to subscribe to this channel and also to like this video by liking and subscribing. These are forms of energetic transference that allow me to pick up more effectively on the energy of you, your relationships, and your situation at this time. Energy itself is timeless as well, so that's why when you tune your energy into this video by watching to it watching it, listening to it, liking it, subscribing, whatever the case is, at any time, whether it's the day I'm posting this video or in 10 years, I'm still able to sense into your energy and hopefully deliver some kind of relevant message for you and your life. It's just the beautiful thing that our that our universe does, the way our universe works by the law of attraction, always lining us up with and drawing to us what we are asking for energetically. So anyway, I got a little sidetracked there, but I'm really feeling called to pull an emotion card. So what dominant emotion is coming up? And I was going to ask specifically for the masculine, but out flew the gratitude card. The fact this card came flying out of the deck tells me this is a very strong feeling. This is a feeling with a lot of power behind it. And so the masculine is feeling really grateful deep in his heart for the divine feminine here. I'm also picking up a message from my guides that because of course, as we know, a full moon, just as it will raise the tides, it will also raise the metaphorical tides of our own inner world, our own emotions. And what I'm getting from this masculine is many of those repressed emotions, warmth, positive feeling, admiration towards the feminine that may have been repressed are now coming very powerfully to the surface and overflowing from him. Now, depending on your level of communication in the physical world, these feelings of adoration, admiration, gratitude may or may not be verbally expressed, but they will be felt by you, Divine Feminine, through energetic transference. Because, of course, we as twin flames are in a constant, perpetual, never-ending energy exchange with our divine counterpart that occurs through all seven chakra centers. And do stay tuned to this channel as well, because if you're interested in that energetic exchange between yourself and your twin flame counterpart, I am working on doing a podcast video that goes a lot more deeply into how twin flames transfer emotion in the form of energy between the seven chakra centers that they share between them and how this feels from your perspective. So essentially how you might be interpreting the energy consciously in your body, in your emotions, when your twin flame is actually feeling something and transferring it to you. So that will most likely be a future video, possibly even later this week. But for now, we did get the a new Romantic Cycle Begins card which is the new moon in Libra card, which is of course really interesting because we are in Libra season, which is all about peace and justice. And for some reason, I'm hearing karmic justice. So what this tells me is there could be certain karmic patterns or situations coming to the forefront of the mind. I'm getting that these karmic patterns will come to the surface at the time of this full moon, especially if and when they are related to one's own thought patterns or one's own behavior patterns. So if you or your twin flame have been thinking 
in certain ways that are limiting you from your highest potential in life or in love, you may find that these patterns are actually illuminated with greater intensity, just as the full moon itself illuminates the earth with greater intensity. And you might find yourself as these patterns surface, walking away with the walking away card upright, walking away from environments or people or connections or behavior patterns that facilitate this limited way of thinking, really allowing you to open up to more of your naturally abundant and limitless nature. Now, I know I'm speaking very abstract there. You will know how or if that applies to you personally, but I am getting, I'm seeing something about cherry blossoms for someone, which was actually a theme coming up in a recent reading as well. But I'm also hearing in connection with cherry blossoms, something about death and rebirth. So I'm really feeling guided to actually look up the symbolism of cherry blossoms and channel some messages. You guys know I like to just literally search some of these symbols and sometimes repeating numbers that come up in the readings to bring forth specific messages for some of you. And so cherry blossoms signal renewal. And also, interestingly, femininity and independence. So for many of you divine feminines listening, you could be really finding yourself analyzing internal patterns of codependency, not just within love relationships, but potential patterns of codependency that have played out I'm hearing giving your power away, ways in which you may have given your power away to family members, to friends, to a job environment, because codependent relationships, of course, aren't just limited to love and romance. We can be codependent with a job, within friendships. And it's interesting because one of the themes surfacing astrologically during this full moon is about is about finding a balance between codependency and interdependency. And what's so relevant about this for Twin Flames is that is another major dynamic that we come here to transcend beyond. We often experience patterns of codependency through our twin flame connection for the purpose of transcending codependency and shifting into interdependency. In a society, by the way, where independence is at times overly emphasized or overly valued, we are taught that essentially we are entirely separate from others within the human collective, that we are islands in essence. But twin flame connection comes in to move us away from this hyper independence by showing us that all is connected by giving us this experience of being so connected to another physically incarnated being that shares the core soul frequency of our own being and feeling all of the energetic connectedness in connection with that is such an intense experience we can't help but realize our own connectedness to all people and all things and this is really transcending the patterns of separation on our planet that have kept us artificially believing that we are alone, artificially believing that we are disconnected from others, artificially believing in concepts like competition or conditional love. And it's shifting us from that into our true limitless nature. But what spirit is reminding me is that anytime there is a pattern to be healed, it must first be more intensely illuminated. Very often what we consider to be a breakdown is actually a breakthrough, especially for you at this time, divine feminine. So with angel of balance reversed, at times you might actually feel very imbalanced. I'm feeling this kind of solar plexus sensation. So you might have at times feelings of nausea, feelings of anxiety that you actually feel in your belly, in your stomach, in your solar plexus region. And with happy family reverse, some of this might be connected with feelings of loneliness or fears about being disconnected 
permanently from someone or something, but the higher level truth is coming in here to teach us there is no disconnection, only the illusion of separation. And once we transcend the illusion of separation, we can then experience connectedness to a degree that our previous version of self never could have imagined. But very often we are put in situations of intensified separateness, intensified loneliness with the victory reverse card where you may be feeling very hopeless, feeling very defeated for the purpose of showing us the opposite, showing us that we are never alone, that we are always sometimes invisibly, but still very presently, spiritually supported, guided, assisted, and even platforms like this channel might be helping us to remember that connectedness because when we connect with each other through YouTube, through similar communities online, virtually, we are reminded that energy does not recognize time, space, or distance. And so this is really bringing up a lot of feelings of gratitude within me for all of you who are tuned in here because we are truly soul family remembering one another and co-creators here on this channel. And I am so grateful to all of you for being here. I would love to hear from you in the comment section. If you do feel guided to share how these full moon energies may have been impacting you or your twin flame situation specifically. All of these feelings of hopelessness, these moments of intensified loneliness, even feeling as though we are going through what the ego is labeling a breakdown are actually pushing us with the have faith in your dreams card to remember that the work we are doing energetically, spiritually, emotionally will be brought back to us and i wanted to say 10 times over a hundred times over will be brought back to us multiplied just like when you plant a seed in the earth it might be a very small seed and there might be a long period of what we think of as time where you won't see that seed sprouting above the earth and you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting and for some you might be tempted to lose faith in that seed and the potential of the seed and you might even dig it up and try to replant it but if you were to just allow divine timing to unfold the the grounding of the seed and the multiplication of its cells then over time you would see it sprout above the earth and when it blossoms it will bring to you hundreds of times more volume in fruits or blossoms or whatever you have planted than the size of that little seed. And I felt guided just to say that because for many of us, that seed is some kind of a hope, a dream, an intention for our lives, for a love connection, for a situation. And for many of us, that seed may have seemed very small. It might even be something that was secretive, that was kept in our inner world that we we didn't even really want to share with many other people because they wouldn't understand, because they would only see the smallness of the seed in the moment and they might discourage us. But we continue to water it day after day to to water and feed and nourish those intentions, perhaps within ourselves, perhaps secretly, perhaps when we were alone in meditation or visualization or with ourselves. But trust that the universe is always listening, that again, that seed will grow and multiply itself. And soon, if not already, it will grow into something that others can see and believe in as well. But so often there is this necessary time where there is a molding of energy that happens when we are alone, that sometimes happens in secret. And I see that many of us have gone through this time, whether it's with a dream, with a relationship, perhaps on our twin flame path, you might be going through inner changes or experiences with your twin flame that you feel you can't share with many other people. But trust, trust the process trust the manifestation of what you have already planted in your life or in this connection in whatever situation is coming to the surface of your mind for you right now 
Wow, I was not expecting those messages to come through this reading. So I am going to shuffle the cards and I want to read a bit more into what is happening for those of you who are twin flames between the divine masculine and divine feminine energies. And actually, there are already two cards that came out for the masculine earlier, the King of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This, These two cards together really speak to a masculine coming in very, very strongly. So I'm going to shuffle the energy oracle cards to get some clarification. But first, if you are someone who is empathic, which is essentially all of you listening, do know that you are susceptible to absorbing not only the very intense energies from lunar cycles, such as the full moon, but also these energies within you are amplified even more because you are also experiencing empathically the amplification of collective responses to the full moon energy. So for those of you who are empaths, who are highly sensitive, ancient, beautiful, spiritual beings like you are, it is so essential for you to participate in daily energy clearing, energy hygiene, whatever that looks like for you personally. Now, for myself, I have loved using subliminal meditations for this daily energy clearing. I have been using subliminals the last two and a half years, and when I started using subliminals, every area of my life began to radically shift and transform, and I now understand the reason this happened so quickly and so profoundly is because subliminals address these subconscious patterns in our mind. And it's actually our subconscious mind that consists of 95% of our thoughts. And as we know by the law of attraction, our thoughts, the energy we exude really do creates our reality in the sense that we will attract back what we send out. But the problem is so many of us absorb these subconscious negative patterns and belief systems that unconsciously cause us to think certain thoughts on a loop and essentially subconsciously or unconsciously create undesired outcomes in our reality or prevent us from fully manifesting our dreams. So subliminals are designed to rewrite those subconscious scripts within your mind, which allows you to very quickly, radically shift your vibration and magnetize yourself for whatever you desire to create, attract, or manifest in your life. So as you can see on the screen on my subliminal site, soundandsoulful.com, I have created and am now sharing with you over 100 subliminals for all all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like happiness, confidence, anxiety relief, for love, relationships, success, for material manifestations like money or business, and so much more. And when you sign up for a free trial account on my website, you can access any of the more than 100 subliminals I've created completely free for seven days. You can even create your own custom private playlists. So for those of you who are listening to this around the time of the full moon, I would most highly recommend my full moon energy clearing subliminal because these full moon energies do tend to affect us for up to to three days before and after the full moon. So the full moon was on October 9th and today is the 10th. So we are very much still feeling the intensity of these energies. This full moon energy clearing will help you to utilize and actually harness the immense power of the full moon and direct that power towards the manifestation in flow states of whatever you desire to create, attract, or manifest during this next lunar cycle. So more information on this full moon energy clearing subliminal is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. And again, you can try out any subliminal I've created free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website, soundandsoulful.com. 
So with that being said, let's dive back into how these particular full moon energies are affecting both the divine masculine and the divine feminine, beginning with the divine masculine, who again is coming in very, very strongly. So I have to tell you right away, I felt this very intense sensual attraction energy coming from the masculine. Now, I want to keep this PG for the channel, but you know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of energy of being very physically attracted to the divine feminine here, which of course the masculine always feels this attraction. Even if you are labeling him as the runner, even if you are experiencing what we might perceive in 3D as a separation, know that the divine masculine always experiences very intense physical attraction to the divine feminine and this is because the divine masculine tends to dominate the lower chakra centers whereas the feminine tends to dominate the upper chakras the lower chakras are more connected with our sensuality with our physical intimacy and physical attraction so whatever attraction you are feeling to your divine masculine at this time divine feminine my guides are telling me just imagine that times for and that is what the masculine is experiencing at this time again even if he has tried to repress or deny or not vocalize these feelings they are very much present and there and the full moon has only brought them out to a more intense degree but there is also a feeling of soul loyalty, of singular focus coming from the masculine. I'm getting a name with a D in it by someone. I also heard the name David, which may connect with someone. This also may be speaking to the story of David and Goliath from the Bible. In the story, David is just a young man and fights a giant named Goliath with a stone and I feel like this divine masculine I'm picking up on is facing some kind of inner demon that feels to him like a Goliath, that feels to him like a giant. I feel this sense of bravery and courage surging within him to face down some kind of demon. And I want to know what this is, so I am going to shuffle the cards a bit here. Okay, door to value reversed and appreciation reversed. So there's a masculine here who his Goliath, his giant, so to speak, is the fact that he has this deep unworthiness wound within himself that caused him to actually project out under appreciation or a lack of gratitude of people around him, but specifically in love of his divine feminine counterpart that ultimately led to some kind of dynamic that postponed, delayed, or sabotaged their connection in some way in the physical with happy family reversed. I'm also getting something about the number four that keeps coming out over and over again. This could be the month of April. That might be someone's birth month here, or it could just be that the number four is holding some type of significance for you. This masculine is being divinely put in a period of stagnation within himself or in his life for the purpose of facing down this Goliath, this giant, which again is this unworthiness wound. So divine masculines listening, if you felt like things in your life have been at a standstill, have not been moving forward in the way you desire, especially around the time of this full moon, it's because you are being pushed within yourself and you are also in the depths of your spiritual awakening and feeling a lot of intensity connected with that, with the crown chakra in the reverse position. Divine feminines, you may even be feeling some head pressure or some tingling in your crown chakra, in your head, or even around your third eye. And I'm getting that this is connected with spiritual shifts that the masculine is experiencing. That is bringing about some kind of breakthrough in the way that he communicates, not just to you in love. I'm hearing communicates as this shift is taking place. It is allowing him to communicate more emotionally, more openly. I feel like in the past, this masculine may have been very logical, very rational, or even came off as cold or disconnected in his communication with others, but especially with you, Divine Feminine. But I'm seeing that 
This spiritual opening up happening within him is balancing out his communication in the sense that he is learning how to balance his logic, his sense of reason and rationality with his very much awakening and active emotional nature, which is essentially the awakening of his own inner divine feminine essence. Ironically though, with door to romance reversed at times, I'm hearing not working out in love. So if you are separated in the physical and the masculine has been trying to date or pursue other connections from your perspective, divine feminine, know that even if it appears that he's connecting with others romantically, he feels completely shut down in love. And this is because spiritually, emotionally, there is this soul monogamy to you, divine feminine. There is this soul fixation upon you. The numbers one and seven may also be significant to someone in some way. So I'm going to go ahead and pull one final card for Twin Flames listening to this reading around the full moon. And this card is Arise. It's so interesting because this card shows someone who's like crouched down in the shadow, but above them there is this glowing light. And I feel like this represents those moments that both counterparts might be having of intensity, of loneliness, of really being pushed within the self, having some kind of a, what the ego would label a breakdown, which again is only a breakthrough moment, but really they are being called to this higher version of self. It is through that breakdown that the greatest expansion is occurring. And with that being said, I'm going to read just a little bit from the guidebook here. And the guidebook says, Wings of hope languish from lack of use. When wings dissipate and weaken, life begins to lose its value. Every cell in your body is created to rise to challenges. Your life is meant to confront everything that holds you captive. Don't sit at the bottom of the well, not caring about salvation. Listen to the voice calling within you. Reach for eminence beyond your own maturity. Rumi. And the guidebook also says, The stars do appear to shine brighter at night, beloved, but don't become consumed by your nightmares. They will pass with the coming dawn. You'll see. Don't give them too much stock. Instead, put your attention towards that defiant candle of hope that burns as its nature and purpose within you. Can you sense its warmth even in the presence of cold fear? You are filled with holy fire and you shall prevail. And that feels like such a powerful place to close this reading. So I am so grateful to all of you who are co-creators here. You have brought your powerful energy and intention to this reading that is quite literally co-created and manifested it. I would love for you to leave me a comment. Let me know if anything here resonated with you personally. Otherwise, the link to the full moon energy clearing which will assist you in harnessing and powerfully utilizing the power, the energy of the full moon and directing it and flowing it toward the manifestation of your heart and soul desires. The link to that subliminal is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. Have a beautiful, magical rest of your day and I will talk to you again in the next video.